hope you enjoyed that sweep picking video. So essentially what I decided to do was to take all your basic triads that you would encounter in a given key and then extend them further into their seven chord equivalents. So in this case we're doing it in the key of E minor. So you're going to have E minor 7, F sharp minor 7 flat 5, G major 7, A minor 7, B minor 7, C major 7, D dominant 7, and then back round to E minor 7 again. And what I've done here is I've put them in 5 and 3 string arpeggios so that way you can loop them back and forth. You can just take the 5 string arpeggio if you wanted. You can just take the 3 string arpeggio if you wanted. You can combine them like I have done here. Um, when I'm looping them back and forth instead of repeating the exact same notes. When I've done the 5 to 3 string arpeggio essentially what I've done is I've played a 5 string. Hammered on to the 7 equivalent. So in this case it's E minor so it's a minor 7th. Then I hammered on to the root, and then back to the minor 7. If it was a major 7 arpeggio, what you'd be doing is hammer on to the major 7, hammer on to the root, and then hammer on to the major 7 again. So that's a nice way to combine 3 and 5 string arpeggios. In terms of how I pick my arpeggios, I'm actually not picking on the descend for the 3 string ones, so I'm going. And then this part of the arpeggio is all legato. Feel free to sweep that if you want. Personally, I just like the sound of it being all legato. Um, it also means if you were to tap any further notes, then you don't have to rush back for a sweep, which I tend to do for three string arpeggios. So that's kind of my reasoning for that. But yeah, have fun with it. Thanks very much. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a ton. And we'll get into the lick slow here with tabs on screen. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.